By now, you should have a good understanding of the best practices for sending direct messages on social media. Now, let's take a look at some of the advanced messaging tools available on LinkedIn. You can send voice messages to your connections, which is similar to leaving a voicemail. You could try introducing yourself with a direct message. Then, follow it up with a voice message to diversify your contact methods. A voice message would be an unexpected differentiator that will make a stronger impression. Voice messages can be up to 60 seconds long, so plan your message so it's conveyed efficiently and your personality shines through. Hey Daniel, hope you're having a great morning. My name's Gloria and I work at Athene Suites. If you're in the midst of a messaging exchange with a prospect and they seem open to advancing the conversation, you could suggest launching a video meeting straight from the chat. This can be a more efficient way to learn more about the prospect and their needs. An ad hoc in the moment video chat can also be a better option than trying to line up conflicting schedules for a Zoom call. They're more likely to respond because the request happened in real time. If they're not free, they might suggest a time that suits them better, and you can schedule the meeting for later. Alternatively, sign into a third party service to host the meeting there. Try testing this feature with a colleague first to ensure it works seamlessly when you need it. Now that you've met your prospect properly, you could throw a video message into the mix to summarize your meeting and confirm what you heard. Video messages take the trust building benefits of a voice note one step further. Research shows that 70 to 93% of all communication is nonverbal, and body language and visual cues are key to how we naturally process information. It's worth reiterating that effective sales are always customer focused, and for the most part, your prospect should be doing the talking. Video messages should only be sent once you've earned the right to discuss how you can help them. When you're ready to record, start your video with a smile so your prospect sees a welcoming preview. Be confident, relaxed, and conversational. Hey Daniel, it was great chatting today. Thank you so much for walking me through some of the pain points that your business faces when booking business travel. If you need a bit of assistance, follow short bullet notes on your screen. The more natural you appear, the more trustworthy you'll be. Videos can be up to two minutes long, but we recommend 60 seconds maximum to be sure you don't lose your prospect's attention. Now that you have some new advanced messaging techniques in your toolbox, let's recap the ideal conversation flow. Start with a direct message, introducing yourself. Follow up with a short voice message. If the prospect is engaging with you in real time, suggest switching to a video call. Once you've met and established a professional relationship, summarize your meeting with a video message. Building relationships in this way is much more likely to result in a sale than if you jumped straight into a self-focused video spiel or sent cold video meeting invites. Always remember, you're engaging with prospects' personal profiles, so respect their space. Building relationships takes time and effort. Take note of what message types resonate with your prospects and adjust your strategy accordingly.